More evidence, more questions, more twists and turns in the search for two-year-old Kaylee Anthony. This after investigators spent hours today removing evidence from the home of the missing girl's grandparents. With search warrant in hand, detectives removed several bags from the home today, but tonight are saying little about what was inside. As News 13 Stephanie Quinu explains, experts say the lack of information is no accident. Wednesday, Orange County investigators returned to the Anthony House in search of more evidence. Sergeant John Allen, the lead investigator, would not say what they were looking for or what they found. And the press release issued soon after also held little information. It's a tactic that some experts say is frustrating but effective. They are basically playing a game of poker and they need to hide their hand. Uh, until such time as they're ready to reveal it. The press release did address rumors the sheriff's office will be using its dive team to search for missing two-year-old Kaylee. The release stated the team will be training as it does each month in various areas of East Orange County on Friday. Weinblatt says that doesn't mean they won't be looking for Kaylee. Every mission they go on is a training mission and every training mission may be that they find something. Weinblatt says all the twists and turns in this case make it all the more unusual, but... Remember, the bottom line is to figure out what happened to Kaylee, and they can't do that if everybody knows everything that they're doing. Weinblatt says he believes the truth about Kaylee will eventually be revealed, although what that outcome may be is still yet another question left unanswered, at least for now. In Orlando, Stephanie Quinu, News 13.